Okay guys, I'm here today uh, with you to show you how to produce an image of an insect using natural materials such as leaves, grass, petals, plants, rocks, anything that you can find outside. So make sure before you go outside, a parent is with you while you gather these items so that you know that the items that you are touching are safe. All right. So next I'm going to show you some of the materials that I have. And what you're gonna do is look to see if you have two of the same materials because we know that insects are symmetrical. They're the same on both sides and that's what we are trying to produce. So right now, I'm going through and finding different items that I can use for my insect. And this is not the type of art that you have to keep forever. This type of art is kind of like when you're playing with the Legos. You play with it for a little while and then you put everything away. Hmm. You might make several arrangements. You might make several different insects. If you're feeling fancy, you can overlap some of your materials to create visual interest. Um, I'm gonna have Janelle make her bug right here okay. or here. And she's gonna try to make a dragonfly. going to use green things but I will use different things such as green. Beautiful. That is my dragon. Awesome. We're going to try to make a little background or a little roach up here. What can we add to our roach? Um, maybe like some of these leaves or something. Break parts of these for like legs. For legs? Oh, so you could break parts or we could get a pair of scissors. Can this be the head? Yeah. It kind of looks like a turtle kind to me. Or a beetle. Kind of looks kinda. like a beetle. Uh huh. And kind of turtle because that would be the shell that would be. Mm -hmm. thing. But we're doing insects, not. That's right. Birds. I'm going to go get another brown leaf. I want you to work on the legs. How many legs? Six. An insect has six legs. That's correct.
this. Emerald maroon backed beetle. Oh, awesome. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your help, Janelle. High five. What kind of insect are you going to create out of natural objects? I can't wait for you guys to share it with me on Google Classroom. As always, if you have a question, please feel free to email me at jessica.boteo at smcisd.net.